season is here as well. The first game for the Rockies is just one week yeah. away. And one thing's for sure, the Rockies might just win the World Series of facial hair. We're talking about beards here, okay? Yeah. According to a recent study, Molly, by Cosmopolitan magazine, beards contain more germs than a toilet seat. It's a true story. I'm not making that up. So gross. Uh, Imagine who cares? how they smell. I don't care. Seven Sports <laughs> anchor Aaron Anderson tells us from spring training, the Rockies have one of the best beards in the business. How are you going today, bud? The familiar faces are back. Tulo, Cargo, and skipper Walt Weiss. But this year, the standard spring training stubble has some serious competition. I'm not the facial hair guy. I can't grow any. <laughs> I never will. You got um, a good start, though. Yeah, man, mine's patchy. The Rockies have become a haven for the hirsute. A lot of times for me, it's hard to tell one from the other when they, when they got those beards, but uh, it, it's, it's definitely a trend. For me, it's always been some sort of facial hair, um, but also as a Canadian, I know that uh, flannel and beards have always been popular. This phenomenon is nothing new to baseball, but when Charlie Blackman busted out his signature look, it grew on people. Uh, I didn't really set out to do, to start anything. Uh, it was just uh, something I, I kind of started for fun and, and then it, it turned out to be a, like a thing. Well, you know, it's such a clean look and it's spring training, so you got to let your hair down. Now they got like a t-shirt and stuff, so now I feel bad. Like I don't want to shave my beard or these people's t-shirts aren't going to be any good. You owe it to them. I do. Did Charlie inspire you? No, he didn't inspire. I was growing a goatee when Charlie was in elementary school. <laughs> I see the facial growth. Any chance we extend that thing out? No, no chance. No chance. Way too, way too much gray at this point. How are you doing? Not to worry. These beardsmen believe they have a head start on 2015, and that bodes well. Hey, it could, definitely. I mean, you know, the playoffs uh, for the NHL are a little bit longer, so guys can grow out those really uh, fantastic beards. And for us, it's not quite as long for the playoffs. You know, if you're going to start something, you got to start a little bit earlier. By the time Rocktober rolls around, things will be bristling. Reporting for the now, I'm Aaron Anderson. All right, Aaron. Now, look, some people are legitimately afraid of, of beards. Molly, what do you think of this one? I can understand why, seeing <laughs> even that. You are scary. Look, it's called pug pugonophobia. Uh -huh. It's the fear just like of beards, and it's a real medical condition. <laughs> I, you can see why, right? They're telling us, go to the teeth. All right. Go we have a lot tees. to get to here on the now.